All right, we're back at it, chasing guns outdoors. We've got the deer sausage on the homemade grill. We've got the kids playing with the cats. All the leaves are falling off. Lincoln, do not cut your hand off. Let's flip these. These are going to be good. So, basically what I did was take my wife's shepherd hooks from the bird feeders. I cut it in half and then welded a bolt on the bottom of both ends so I could hammer them down in the ground. I took the leftover iron and built me some hangers for the pots. And then I had some leftover angle iron. So what I did was I took welding rods, I beat the flux off the welding rods, and then welded the welding rods actually to the angle iron. Then I took like a $5 bucket built a fire in it and you can just take your angle iron grill and just set right on top of the bucket cook your meat so with the shepherd hook design you're able to spin the hook in the ground and with this rack that I built you can just hook into the triangle pieces on the end and if you need to get it closer to the fire you can hammer them down and if you don't like it if you want to get it real close to the ground <clears throat> you can take these hooks that I made and you can actually hook them over and then you can hook your tray onto these and drop it down. It's cooking up nicely. Make them back up. Oh, don't those look good? It's about time to try one of these. They've been, they've been cooking about 40 minutes. And let's just see what it tastes like.
All right, let's see what she tastes like. Oh yeah, Paula Dean, here we come. I did give it at least three seconds before I said it was good. Mm. It's, it's good, it's really good. My kids might not get in. Well, we're having fun in the backyard. I hope you enjoy. Um, may God bless you. Have a good day.